Okay, this video is going to be about making um, extensions for your solar panels into your portable power station. This kit is a Bouge RV kit. Everything on the table is Bouge RV except the cutter. So, due to my hand situation, having crushed my hands a couple years back in a car wreck, Jamie's going to show us how to do this. So, let's let Jamie do what he does. Okay, first off, this is your negative. As you see, there's only one end on it, and the reason there's only one end is because when, when people put their extensions together, if you hook it to a battery, you want to hook this to your, your uh, charge controller. And of course, this. So you need alligator clips if you charge it into a battery. Is that right? No, you just splice it and and. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Box. Learn something new every day. So, anyway, what they have, is, what they'll have, is opposing ends. This is a this is a female end right now. So what we're going to do is put a male end on this loose end here, and this is a male end. So we're going to put a female end on this loose end. These are both Bouge RV cables. These are your male and female connectors. Bouge RV. This is a pair of Bouge RV cutters. They didn't come in the kit though, did they? No, they, they came okay. in another kit. Uh, this is your Bouge RV crimps. These are your two Bouge RV wrenches. And these are extra male and female fittings. So that right there is a separate kit. Yes, this okay. is a, this is a almost complete kit. Like a repair kit, correct? Right, repair okay. Kit. Okay. Okay. We're going. To, we'll start out with this positive cable here. And we're doing a setup where they go uh, hooked to solar panels, correct? Okay. We're going to start with this uh, positive cable first. Like I say. These are Bouge RV. This is a female end, so we're going to put a male end on this side. There's some things you need to remember as you put these together. Since we need a male end, I'll show you the uh, as you can see, this fitting is larger than this fitting. This is the fitting for the male end. This smaller one will be the fitting for the female end, which we're going to put on your negative cable. Okay, you go back about uh, three quarters of an inch and you just kind of cut it around there. All you want to do is score the wire. That way you don't cut the inner wire inside. And I'm going to use these vice grip uh, strippers because it just makes it easier to pull that. A cleaner cut too, right? Yeah, yeah it makes a clean cut. As you can see, it strips the wire off. And... I'll pull that off and we'll round this off so it'll go inside your fitting. All right, we got our, ma we got our male fitting here. We're going to take the uh, nut off the back end. We'll put that on first. Then we'll take our, this is our watertight seal. That goes on next. Then we'll slide our large male, large end for the male fitting. Slide it all the way down to the installation. Let me get these Bouge RV crimps out. On these crimps, this little raised section in the middle you want that when you crimp your end on let's see if you can see it better this way um, when you crimp it you want your ends 
that wraps around the wire. To go down, and what that does, that, that curls it around. That raised section in the middle there will curl that around, and, and the top part will crimp it. So we're going to slide this on here. This part slides inside the sleeve. All right, we're going to put this raised part on the. All right, as you can see, when I crimp it, that'll make that curl under and crimp to the wire. And that way you have a not, well, it missed that one, but we'll crimp it again. There. And that won't pull off that way. That there you go. It makes a nice tight crimp. Yeah. These are really nice crimpers. What you'll do now is you'll slide this up here. Slide the nut up. Get your male end, slide your male end on. This is your watertight seal right there, that little orange thing. And as you can see, they got notches in here and then they got notches in this. So you push that up tight and the notches mesh. So then you start your nut on the back of there Grab your wrench, wrenches, all right. Slide this wrench over your nut. Slide this one over the top of the male end. Turn the nut clockwise. Until it clicks. When it clicks, that locks it in place. When it clicks it, that means it's tight, tight enough. You hear the click? Yep. Okay. All right. There's our positive cable finished. As you can see, you got both ends, male and female. Now we'll do the we'll do the uh, negative cable. All right. Like I say, you got a. You got a uh, male end on here, so we need to put a female end on the other end. This this cable is Bouge RV. Also, the fittings are Bouge RV. Like I say, this is your small metal end. Bouge RV makes some quality stuff. I mean, yeah. everything I've bought from them has been high quality. Yeah, I think they really make pretty good stuff. All right, like I say. We're going to go back about three quarters of an inch and score this all the way around. Like I say, you don't want to go all the way because you'll cut the inner wire inside. And these these are strippers, but they didn't come with the Bougeard V kit. Okay, we're going to. Makes a clean strip, don't it? Yeah. And yeah, then just twist good. the wire and. Yeah, you turn the wire so that it'll go inside your metal sleeve. Okay, we're going to get the female end. We're going to take the nut off. We're going to slide the nut on first. Slide the watertight seal next. Then we're going to put our metal end, and again, this is the small end, and it's deceiving because it looks like you would use the big end, because this this hole is so much bigger than than this hole. But this is what you should use in the in the uh, female end. So, like I say, you kind of tighten that up so it'll go inside your fitting all right and just like the uh, mail-in we just did 
you want to crimp it the same way um, this little raised portion you want to make sure that goes on the open side of your fitting just like that little raised portion you want that on the open side of your metal fitting squeeze your crimps like I say they make a really nice crimp that's not going to pull pull loose or anything that is nice slide your waterproof fitting up here and as I say, you got little teeth around this, around this waterproof seal, and you got teeth on this. You mesh those two together. Slide your nut up there. Tighten your nut. All right. Like I say, the uh, the twelve point section on your wrench, you slide that up on your nut. Then you the square portion of the other wrench, slide that over that fitting. Turn your fitting clockwise until it clicks. And you have two ends. Like I say, you got two prepared Bouge RV extensions. This is a pigtail. You got your male and you've got your female. And this goes into another brand name uh, solar charger. And... Um, since we don't have a Bouge RV solar charger, we'll just use the pigtail. Same thing as a portable power station. Okay. We're going to hook the positive end up first. Male to female. I'm going to show. Uh, okay. Negative end. Male to female. Now I will show you how to use the wrenches to remove these fittings, which makes it a lot easier than trying to pinch these to get, get them loose. That's so if you want to not use the extension cables, right? No, this is just to remove your cables once, oh, okay. you, once you're packing your panels away. Okay. Alright, if you see this, these two little raised ends here, see these two notches in the fitting, in the uh, female fitting you will slide that in there and what that does that depresses those two ends so that you can grab your fitting like this pull and it comes loose very easy pretty cool it's it's harder to do if you try to pinch those those little hooks but it makes it real easy if you use the wrench okay we're going to connect this back together like like i say you got a nice tight watertight seal watertight seal on both of them and like i say these are bouge rv cables very very nice cables Okay, I had to get a little bit of little little man in the video, so I hope y'all enjoyed that video on how to put Bouge RV cables together, and hope y'all enjoyed the repair kit. The product was sent to me by Bouge RV to do a rep review on, so that's what I did. I hope y'all enjoy the review. I'll see you down the road in my next video.